Hello, in this video we are going to look at gestures and more specifically pointers. So this is really cool. This allows us to create interaction with, with our widgets. Could be, you know, if we have text on there, an image on there, a button on there. You know, conventionally a button immediately, you know what a button looks like. There's a, you know, general standard and, you, you know, you go to click it and there'll probably be some text in it so you know what it does. But you can attach a what's called a listener to any widget so you can detect when you know the pointer has essentially you know clicked any widget so that's really really cool so we're going to do with an image so i've got an image right here and the way to do it is really, really simple so you need to have your child whatever it is it could be text it could be image, it doesn't really matter and you need to enclose it into something else like you know we got this container so we need to have a something called child listener and in there we'll put this this will, this will be a child of that now to detect well i'll, I'll show you what happens if i say this if i'll start clicking on it nothing is happening because we haven't attached any listeners there's four types of events that you can actually pick up using the point for using pointers is pointer down event pointer move event, pointer up event, and pointer cancel event. Pointer down event, this is when the pointer has contacted the screen, pointer meaning, you know, your finger, or in this case, it's gonna be my mouse, which is simulating a finger at a particular location. So it's like a click, but it's while your finger is still on this, like the first time it goes onto it. Pointer move is while, the you know, the pointer is still on the screen, but it, you're moving it. So like moving the mouse, but having the, you know the mouse button down pointer up is when you stop touching the screen so you lifted your finger off pointer cancel and this is input from this point is no longer basically directed towards the app what that means is if something overrides you know your phone like if you have an incoming call and you're on an application the application basically goes into the background and the call comes to the foreground and if you accept it you can you know start talking to whoever's called you if you reject it, you go back to the app. So that's where the, the cancel event will occur. That's less likely, but still useful to handle that. And you only need one listener per widget to handle all four of these. So to do it, all you do is, you, let's see, here are the events. And you know how to, I got, like how I got the suggestions up, you press control and then space, and it gets the suggestions up. So that's really useful. So I'm gonna on pointer down in here, and we have brackets, pointer down event, and we call this event. So this is the event that has actually occurred. Oops, it is. And we could obviously call a separate method, but I'm just gonna put it in line here. And I'm simply gonna put out a print line that says clicked. For example, and yeah, if I was to save that. And I click it, as you can see, it picks up the click event. I can click it again and I can click it again. But let me show you what happens if I actually also want to wipe everything in the console. Watch what happens. I click it there, but if I click outside of it, no, it's not doing anything because we've only attached it to this widget. And what we can also do is print out the event. We can get some more extra you know information about it you can do this with all the events so i click that as you can see so if i click it here if i click it there we're basically getting pixel coordinates relative to the entire screen so this is fantastic and you can use those properties as well so you can just do event dot you know get the delta you can get you know the button that's been clicked there's like a whole heap of information and as an extra task i want you to you know experiment with that so the other one i'm going to show you is on point to move and you put pointer move event and then you call the event and we are getting an error we need a comment here Too many positional arguments, zero expected, but one found. Well, that is weird. 
Hmm, that is strange. Ah, there's a comma here. There should not be a comma. That is now fixed. But if I do print, and I'm going to say move, but I'm also going to print out the event. It will be pretty useful on this one. If I save that, go on to it. So if I click, click it, my mouse is down. Now if I move it, my, my mouse is still down. And as you can see, we are picking all those move events and you can see the cordon. So this is great for checking the direction. You could be using this for swipe. You could be using it for a whole heap of stuff. And I'm gonna let go of it. Letting go of it will trigger the point pointer up event. As an extra task, I want you to implement the pointer up event and the pointer cancel event. Pointer up event is easy to essentially trigger. It's just when you lift your finger or your mouse off that particular, you know, off the screen. But I want, you, I want to see if you can simulate the point to cancel event. And that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.